making of the million dollar The Hunter. It's over the 1300 metres, won last year by James Cummings with Volana. And James also won the inaugural edition with Sabatiano. Yeah, some nice winners so far, Mato. A race that continues to build year on year and looks a strong field this year. King of Sparta is your top pick. Covered plenty of ground in the Sydney Stakes last time out. The replay is first up when a very good second to a very good sprinter star patrol down the Flemington 1200. Yeah, really like the way he closed off this day. As you can see, he just gets a, a long way back in the ruck, but he closes off really strongly. And it's a funny race where the leader went out, star patrol chase, and then you can see the others just got too far back. But have a look at the finish here. He was outstanding this day. His overall figures uh, are good, and I don't think 1300's any issue. I thought he was the overs in the race uh, off that forgive run last time out. Cole Crusher hasn't won this prep, but he's ticking along nicely. Yeah, and he's been the real target for this race. Um, there's obviously a few, like Marzu, it's a bit of an afterthought, but he gets the blinkers on Cole Crusher. He was terrific. He beat Marzu last time out, and I think he's going to be awfully hard to catch out in front. Marzu, um, look, he, easiest race he's been in for some time. He's still got to show he's right there this prep, so he gets that chance to Today, Opal Ridge next best. But King of Sparta for me on top. King of Sparta for you on top as well, Gator. Geez, a talented racehorse, this guy. Um, I just wish I could guarantee you he'd do everything right because it gets him beaten a bit. And, um, but geez, gifted and he was never on the track last time. A terrific run, I thought. And the first run Brad showed you there was outstanding. Cole Crusher looks a danger, brings in the elite form. Bella Nipatina, private eye, think about it. It's obviously the same form as Marzu. And Opal Ridge next best, but 3-6-1-14 for me. Have a look at the bookies. Last 15 minutes, Marzu the favourite. 310 to 340. Cold Crusher 480 just out to five dollars. King of Sparta six into 550. There's support for Opal Ridge for Luke Pepper, Dylan Gibbons 850 out to nine into 750 just back to eight dollars. And a nibble for Gravina. Zach Lloyd in good form for James Cummings second run back. It's 21 into 19 dollars. Mm, he's a better horse than uh, what he did there the other day, Marto. He's a bit disappointing fresh, but. Look, that was Flemington straight. Um, had a different beast to around a bend, and we know that. Uh, he, look, I know he's yet to win on good ground, but he's been placed 11 times here. He does generally prefer the sting out of the track, but blinkers come off, visors again, no weight on his back here. He should appreciate what should be a good tempo and hit the line. And at longer odds, there's been a nibble for rocketing by 41 to 31, and Cinewan for Joe Pride. Reese Jones is 51.61 into 31 dollars. Marzu is the favourite, has been back to the Hawkesbury trials off his last start. Yeah, a bit of a drifter. He got into two dollars thirty this morning. Um, the way these bookies move these odds these days is unbelievable. Uh, this morning, 270 into 230. Now you can get 350. You just got to wait and be patient sometimes. But look, it's a bit of an afterthought, um, but. He did hit the line well on that giga kick stakes last time out. He was much better there. I think the 13, staying well, staying at the 1300s, okay for him. He's had a good trial since. Nash goes aboard. There's some ticks there, but um, he has been a little bit below his best this prep, all the same. The fifth running of the million dollar hunter. First walks away with $580,000. Here's Luke. Rustic Steel, excellent proposal. Dark Destroyer. Among the last few to come forward. Last check of the betting, 350 now, Marzu. He gets to 350. As they're just about ready to go. Rustic Steel, the local, about to complete the line for the Newcastle Herald Hunter. This is your race, Newcastle. And they're ready to go. Marzu favourite. Gates are back, they're off and racing. He jumped on terms with them, did Marzu. Cole Crusher was away well, so too, military expert. The outside does run. Marzu settles just behind the speed, followed by Gravina. Opal Ridge a bit wide, looking to try and tuck in. King of Sparta's centre field. He's got his stable mates back as they negotiate the first turn, 850 metres to run. Excellent proposal, settles beyond midfield, then rocketing by. Cinewan gets back with Rustic Steel and Dark Destroyers last. They're going quickly. It's Cole Crusher to the side. He's got them strung out. Cole Crusher, a length and a half military expert before the turn. Three lengths away was Marzu. He's coiled up on the inside, waiting to present. The inside of Dajran, then King of Sparta, Gravina. Opal Ridge is wide as they turn the bend. Cole Crusher's trying to gallop them into the ground. He led by two. 
two on military expert. Mazu given full ball, trying to pick up. Further back was Opal Region. King of Sparta gets up the inside. But Cole Crusher is running it. Almighty race in the lead. He's three, four lengths in front. Mazu trying hard. King of Sparta late. A hundred metres to go, though. Cole Crusher is still the leader. What a performance. Cole Crusher has run them off the legs and won the Newcastle Herald Hunter. Has beaten King of Sparta. Photo for third between Mazu and Rocketing Boy, who run a cheeky race. Then military expert further back was Rustic Steel with Gravina. Next in the run, Cinewan Daj Run. Excellent proposal on Opal Ridge. Cole Crusher. Crushes them in the Hunter and under Tyler Schiller for Joe Pride. Lands the feature in the early $5 range. Yeah, what a, a sheer speed that was. Sustained speed. He's clocking 11s 01, 11.03. He's absolutely flying. But those shades, he just loves them. He reacts to them and he just kept on going. What a performance. What a win. King of Sparta. He just another maybe 50 metres and he wins. But he just got held up a touch saying that take nothing away from the winner. The winner was too good for him all the same. Mazu, yeah, jury's out, isn't it? He, he seemed to be there and have his chance. Maybe he wants that wet track. But Cole Crusher, what a win. And well done, Joe Pride. The target race pays off. And Joe and the strapper enjoyed that one. Why not? They land the million-dollar feature, Gator. Yeah, that's it. And uh, just an outstanding win. Simple as that. If you're running that sort of speed from the front, it's all on as you. I know King of Sparta, they would have loved to have been clear 50 metres earlier and may have made it interesting. But uh, I'm with Brad. I can take nothing away from the winner. Over a million dollars in stakes now for Cole Crusher, the winner of the Hunter. Home take New South Wales, 5.30 and 1.90, beating King of Sparta at $2. Rocketing by at 8.20, runs third, ahead of number one, Marzu, for the Hunter.